Mendez News in a Nutshell, your fortnightly guide to all that's happening in Mendez and the SCF in under 5 minutes. Here's what happened from 13th April to 3rd May. The Singapore Armed Forces C-130 aircraft has made seven flights to Nepal as of the 4th of May as part of relief efforts thus far, in the aftermath of the 7.8 magnitude earthquake that has claimed over 7,000 lives. A multi-agency relief team comprising SCF personnel from the Changi Regional Humanitarian Assistance and Disaster Relief Coordination Centre, an SCF medical team and members from the Singapore Civil Defence Force and Singapore Police Force headed to the Himalayan nation and are doing all they can to help. The first few waves of C-130 flights were focused on sending personnel, equipment and aid into Kathmandu and the evacuation of Singaporeans and Singaporean permanent residents from Nepal. The SCF medical team operating in Gorkhana, some 10 kilometers from Kathmandu, run a busy clinic together with medical personnel from the Royal Brunei Armed Forces and the Singapore's Health Ministry. They have treated more than 1,100 quick victims as of the 4th of May and continue to see a steady stream of patients every day, mostly suffering from fractures and sprains to dehydration and diarrhea. We have done some suturing, cleaning of the wounds, some abscesses, we drain some abscesses, and then we are seeing these patients for follow-up. And we want to reach out to further uh, villages and pockets of uh, people that have not been reached, and we try to see what aid they need, and we try to support them the best we can. The medical camp of Singapore is very, very helpful. They help all poor and all people sim similarly. The SCF medical team also travelled to remote rural areas, bringing healthcare to the elderly and Nepalese who are unable to travel to the clinic. The SCF will step up its efforts to foster closer collaboration to respond more effectively to disasters. Defence Minister Dr Ng Eng Hen said this at the opening ceremony of the World Humanitarian Summit Global Forum on Humanitarian Civil Military Coordination. The forum seeks to develop recommendations to improve the effectiveness and efficiency of civil military coordination and disaster relief responses at the national, regional and international levels. About 100 delegates from more than 25 countries attended the three-day forum, which was hosted by Singapore in the United Nations Office for the Coordination of Humanitarian Affairs. About 24 servicemen and women from the SCF Medical Corps helped provide primary healthcare, dental and eye care services to residents of Vinh Phu Province in Vietnam. This was part of a joint medical mission with the Vietnam People's Army or VPA. The SCF and the VPA also conducted professional medical knowledge exchanges on peacekeeping and humanitarian and disaster relief operations. The SCF-VPA joint medical mission underscores the warm and growing defense relations between Singapore and Vietnam. For years, the Singapore Army and Royal Brunei Land Forces have been exercising together, learning from each other and fostering mutual understanding between them. This interoperability reached new heights recently as they celebrated the 20th anniversary of Exercise Maju Bersama with over 700 soldiers from both sides, carrying out a series of jungle warfare missions. Second Defence Minister Louis Tuck Yu, who was on an official visit to Brunei, stopped by to witness the exercise and interact with the troops together with Chief of Army Major General Perry Lim and Brunei and Deputy Minister of Defence Dato Paduka Haji Mustafa bin Haji Sirat. For more details on these stories, visit mendaf.gov.sg. Now let's check out what's buzzing on our social media channels. These cartoon drawings of our military men and women seem to have an uncanny resemblance to Tintin the famous Belgian cartoon character. That's because 2nd Sergeant NS Lee Sin Lee draws his inspiration from Tintin's creator, Erje. Check out Sin Lee's drawings on the Defence Minister's Facebook page. It's a strong and long-standing relationship that was further reaffirmed by Chief of Defence Force, Lieutenant General Ng Chi Ming's visit. Check out the highlights of General Ng's visit to China on Cyber Pioneer's Facebook page. Well, that's our defense news in a nutshell. Get to know us more through one of our social media channels. This is Mike from Power98, signing off.